this video, we'll take a look at the test case overview and smart test cases in Allure Test Ops. For this, we have an example project and our dashboard for the spring coffee shop for now is empty and we see what a project will do. So here we have a Maven spring project that implements this demo. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to run um, this project and execute all of the tests. So for now, we have a test pipeline that just shows this as an example. What it does, it tests all of the unit tests. So it runs all of these. And then it also runs some integration tests. And as you can see, some UI tests powered by Selenium and Selenide. And then also it uses the Allure Test Ops command line tool to upload this launch. So it, this is called a launch. And then what we're gonna see on the launches is that we just now started a launch. If we're gonna look into this, we see our tests. So we have 14 tests that are all passed. And in this test result list of the launches of this particular launch here, we're gonna see already our test cases. So we have different ways to show this here. For example, we can see it all just in a flat list. And what it does, it includes all of these tests, including the naming that is derived from the Java code and optionally some metadata that you can define. So let's have a look at a particular test. For example, this one, which is a code level test that we have. That includes some metadata that then is included and taken by Allure Test Ops in order to update the information and in order to have the information and the mapping in the first place. What we can do now, for example, is to see the test results are here just in the launches. If I have a look at my project specifically, the list of test cases here is still empty. Why is this the case? Because the launch for a successful launch needs to be closed. So this has been executed. And then we see the test cases here as well. Okay, so we can view the test cases in different way. So for example, we can show just the list what we just had, but also group them, for example, by features or some other criteria that we can define just to have a better overview. So maybe you have seen in the code that we can define, for example, a feature that is an Allure annotation. And then we can just group the features accordingly. Similarly, we can define suites or other criteria out of the box. The suites are taken and derived by the Java class names, which makes a lot of sense or is helpful out of the box. We can, of course, further change this. So in order to show how this is being updated, what we can do, we can then update some specific um, tests or some specific information. So this is about the smart test cases that we have always the up to date test documentation in our overview in our Allure test of system. What it does, it will just keep track of the tests. And in case there are any changes, the, up, uh, the information here is always up to date. For example, what I could do, I take the same test now, I've renamed this in the past, should update fields, let's just rename the method. So now it is sort of a different method, but we still have the information in Allure test ops, and it will keep track of that. So basically, what we can do is to say, okay, I just renamed this, let's run the test pipeline again. And then after the execution, it will be uploaded again. And then we have the new updated information in our Allure test up system. So let's have a look at the new launch. We have still 14 test cases. Our test result list should now have the updated name. Then we can close the launch and have a look at our test cases here as well, which now has been updated in our test cases list of our project. So these are the test cases without, without the parameterized uh, runs. And here in a particular launch, we see the information there. So that's one example. Another example is when, well, tests get broken or actually the test results um, are updated. For example, 
let's take a test that then would fail because maybe we have a change in requirements assuming we go to this UI test and say we would like to assert that the page headline is well welcome or instead of this we change it to welcome exclamation mark which then should obviously fail the test and then what happens is well we want to keep track of the change here and we want to be sure that we always have the up-to-date documentation or information in our system so now the test here failed but it is still uploaded because we want the results of course of our pipeline so if we have a look at this new launch we see that now this particular test failed you can also check out the documentation for well what it means if we have an unresolved test results what are known defects and all of uh, these further features for that but for now we're interested in this particular test that now failed this particular test case that we can close the launch and now what we uh, would like to see if the information about the test result is being kept up to date so that means that well now I could do one of two things because the test failed either I could change the test again but then I would just uh, revert what I just did or I now make sure that actually the this test this new feature passes for which I quickly need to re run and restart my application so for example if I say I change the greeting message here but then also the system should well keep it up to date or should now notice that this test passes again if that is the case so let's try this out real quick I rebuild and restart the application and then I can just rerun the pipeline and see well if that works and if the information is also being kept up to date in Allure test stops so once the application starts up I can run my pipeline and if I changed everything correctly then now all of the tests including the UI tests should work again let's have a look so first of all the build is success okay and then let's have a look at Allure test stops so we have a new launch and here now we have a success rate of uh, 14 test cases again and the particular test in question is now green and we can close the launch and update the information here so this is particularly helpful if we just have well a notation of changing test information of changing metadata of the overall overview in the project and we see that with this integration with Allure test stops and especially the metadata that we can define we have always the up-to-date information thanks to the smart test cases to the extra data that we can define we have a go good overview and this is one particular example how we can have a look at the test case overview and smart test cases in Allure test stops thanks a lot for watching